What is up everybody? It's easy and the excitement level it is rising. We are uh, we have the boat on the base. We uh, we know that the update is coming. We've got a lot of information in the past few days. Uh, of course, they still can't tell us about the actual update exactly the details of of what happens when we cross the mysterious ocean in in the world of Clash. Uh, we have a lot of theories. But this video, we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna go over what we do know. We're not gonna get into too much speculation, but we're gonna kind of throw out there what we do know, what we know that's not gonna happen. Um, in the meanwhile, meantime, in the background, we have um, some minor attacks, uh, some Gola Loon, some La Loon, uh, some of the stronger attacks right now. And what I would, one point I want to make before we get into the update stuff. Um, Check out your attacks because a lot of times right before your updates happen You will see that there's changes in the troops because they start you know There's the, during every update they do balancing changes and Quite often and now this isn't a fact. This is my opinion and I and I really feel like this is true Quite often we'll, we'll have some balancing changes that happen before the update uh, they may sneak a little maintenance in there and, uh, and I really feel like they start looking at the balancing changes before they make them live and, and, and see how, the, how they're doing. So, check it out. Check out your attacks. See if the troops are acting differently. See what's up. So, we know this. What's not coming? They've said this a lot. We're not going to have a new town hall. We're not going to have a new level of walls. Uh, the, this whole thing about the gem uh, producers, that's not, I don't think that will ever happen. That, that's not supposed to happen this update. Uh, no new levels for the heroes So we know that's not happening as big as the update is uh, There are we can rule several things out Now th there are there's already been some leaks on like the reddits and I'll tell you what I was reading over one of them We have one of our guys uh, that that posted it up on one of our chat rooms and I just want to tell you this if you're starting to read about some of these huge lists that they're putting out on the update Don't give them too much credibility. I know that sometimes they're coming from credible sources For example, the one that we got came from a very credible source But he brought us the information and it was out there as if it was credible But I don't feel like it was because it's, it's, it's contradicting too many different things so we know no new town hall level no new levels for walls uh, as, as far as the next level they may give you more pieces but there's no new level uh, no and just just to clarify on that we only get a certain number of level 12 walls right now so when I say no new level walls I mean no level 13 they may give us some more level 12 but you know all these things that they are not doing they're not doing the heroes they're not doing the new town hall they're not doing things like that that's actually a really good thing because now we know that they have uh, they've dedicated all this time and all this energy and it's not to just improving what we've already got so and that's what they do a lot you know they'll come out with like t they came out with town hall 11 and then they spend the next year sometimes you know in this case almost it's getting on close to two years making it right because you know they can't put out the whole entire update at one time so they put out the new town hall level then they spend months and months and months adding pieces to it adding uh, balancing it out and, and all that so this of course there will be balancing there's always going to be balancing in every update there's gonna be balancing because of the clan wars there's always the engineered clan problem that is still out there so they'll, they'll have they'll throw another uh, branch in the engineered clans uh, tool bag <laughs> but for the most part from what I'm hearing and and I'm hearing the same thing as everyone else I'm just trying to pay close attention to, to what everyone is saying because they're not allowed to tell us the details but because they're all individuals and they're not all getting together and, and kind of putting out the information together they're all just giving us little teeny hints um, one a little more than the other and it's kind of giving us a good picture of what's going to happen and I also, I also have uh, a, a pretty decent prediction of, of a possibility and something that I think everyone should think about. I'll do that here in a few minutes. Um, so, another change that they're going to do is they're not going to start putting out all the sneak peek videos and allow the YouTuber community to go out and, and for like a week before the update comes, come and hammer down all the different aspects of the update. 
Um, it, that is something that they do, and, and you know, everyone enjoys the update, uh, sneak peeks, but they kind of want everyone to get get it at the same time, and that way the whole community can kind of enjoy it at once, and I think it's a pretty cool thing. So, a few things that we can expect, based on what we're hearing, is a completely different game mode. So now we know the boat is taking us to a different area. We know that area is not going to be your village with the lights off or anything like that. It's going to be a completely different game mode. We don't know exactly what that means, but we do know that we, well, we think that the troops will have different functions. Not sure if we're going to have different troops. We're not sure of, the, of what all that means. But just based on what we're watching so far and what we're hearing uh, some of the YouTubers and some of the people that have got to play so far, uh, the functions that we are used to will not be quite the same. And which that's, that, that starts leading me to think, the first thing that everyone should think about is, okay, Supercell is not just Clash of Clans, that's Clash Royale, it's Boom Beach, it's, it's several other games. And what do they do in other games that has been successful? Um, I know that in Clash Royale, what's been so successful is the one-on-one -on -one competition, the two-on-two -two competition, that live action back and forth. That's been really, really successful for them. Um, they're, they're getting in with esports because of how well they're doing. It, I've heard all kinds of great things that are, that are going to be happening for Royale. And it, it would be... It would be ridiculous to think that they wouldn't take success from one game and try to fold it into their other games. Now, at the same time, you have Boom Beach that, you know, the hype for Boom Beach isn't like it used to be, but it's still actually a really good game. Uh, there are heroes in it now, and there's all kinds of other things that are coming into play. And one of the one of the things that people like about it so much is that you'll have your entire clan or task force attacking one base, one giant base. Uh, now granted it's a computerized base and it's not another clan's creation which has kind of been my my backslide on it I, I want it to be another clan you know going head-to-head -head with another clan with these giant bases But we know that Supercell Understands the concept of the team versus the ver the big team versus the big team and How much we like to chip away? Um, helping each other at these big bases so so That's an encouraging thing. That's something that we might be looking forward to uh so, this is, some, this is just an idea that I've been having after listening to everyone and, and how different it is but how awesome it is. Just imagine if when you go to the Night Village, as they're calling it, uh, or the, the, the different game area, uh, the New Cockland. <laughs> That's just wrong. <laughs> So many things popped into my head when I said that. Uh, just imagine if instead of you, you being the attacker, what if you're on defense and they have a way for you to defend the base instead of attack? Uh, I know in, in Clash Royale uh, you're defending as much as you're attacking. What if there's some way that they have made it to where we are no, no longer just an offensive minded, uh, uh, you know, we're not just attackers, we have a way to defend as well. Now, I've heard a lot of things off the record, uh, being in the YouTube community, I know I'm not a big, uh, I'm not one of the big guys, but I, I have caught ears from many of them, and uh, I'm amazed at some of the stuff I've heard. Of course, some of the things I've heard that I can't say, I haven't even heard the full story. I don't think, you know, I, I, I really feel like um, that there's a lot out there that even the guys that are in in Finland right now don't know about so big secrets for a big product <laughs> so what we've done is we have uh, on our website we have a whole new web page or it's gonna be a several pages that are gonna be devoted directly towards it uh, all the youtubers are gonna be making all these huge videos on it it's gonna be a whole nother it, it, it's clash but it's gonna be a whole separate thing from what we have now so that that's what you have to look forward to it's going to be something completely different I mean that's that's big really so as I've been going through making the video I started looking up all the different possibilities and, and what other youtubers have put out there and so far we've heard about the Rocketeer again we've heard about the Ice Wizard and, and that has actually been circulating as probably one of the strongest possibilities as far as a new troop goes 
We've already used it. People like it. Uh, I've seen a lot of stuff on this catapult. I have no idea the validity of that. But the, the graphics on it are great. If it was made by someone else, it's a great job. I know that there's a lot of stuff out there that Supercell has put out in the past. And it, it never made it to live. They may have even made it to testing. And, the, and people may have had it on the private servers. And they may have used it. But then it just never made it live. So we'll have a lot of images that, out there for that. And you have a lot of uh, a lot of these hype videos where they they're just guessing, but to get the views and to get the you know to to get them onto their site, they act like they they know for a fact. If you just listen to all the videos, it's pretty funny some of the stuff that people are saying. Um, there's no accountability. This this is not you know people that are doing YouTube videos. They're not paid newscasters. It's, they have no accountability for being wrong whatsoever. The only thing that they have are their reputations and. And quite honestly, most of the time when it comes to these update predictions, people are expected to be wrong anyway, so there's not really many repercussions for being wrong. But there are all kinds of fact, supposedly fact-based um, pieces that are coming. I've heard, uh, I've heard of Dark Elixir troops that are like the Inferno, the Inferno towers, um, and of course in Clash Royale they have the Inferno dragon, which is similar. But this one was t talking about attacking five or six troops at one time. Um, and, and if you go and investigate it all, you'll you'll see all the same stuff that I was seeing. But it's rumor. I say it's rumor time because I would not be surprised if none of it is true. Um, now I know that some. That's another thing just to throw out there. Um, you have other sites, uh, one of, you know, there are some that are used by everyone. They have millions of people that go to them, and they have guys that go into the programming, uh, into the API, I think that's what it's called, API. Uh, anyway, uh, one of the most popular ones is Spancer. Um, he's actually put out, uh, he's, a, he's actually put out base weight guides or, or charts, and he, he's actually done a lot for the community. Also been burnt by Supercell pretty badly because he'll dig way further than he's supposed to and I'm just putting myself in Supercell shoes if I have someone that I was letting in the, the in the back door showing him stuff and then he went too far and For some reason I, I kick him out, but he's still getting in and he's still getting ants He's still getting stuff and he's still showing everyone and, and he's the main person giving leaks to everyone and if he and if if he's that if he's doing that then I will load up my servers full of stuff that will never happen just to throw him off just to to hurt his credi credibility so I, I think like that because I in the past we've had these definite things that are happening that never happen um, but granted now we have the ship which has been rumored on for months and months and months that um, you know there, there's a little gain credibility for some people there so but, but my point is, there's a lot of update um, videos out now, so be patient, hold your breath like everyone else, it, it's coming, it'll probably be not this Monday, but next, from what I understand. I'm challenging you, put Supercell to the test, imagine what the update could be, talk about it with the community, get on all these different channels that you're watching all over, get on the chats, talk to everyone, uh, get the hype going up. I think it's going to be worth it. I don't think we're going to be let down with this particular update. Uh, we'll have a lot to be looking forward to. Uh, a lot of work to be done from all the YouTubers and all the people like myself that make content that work on the websites. I, I feel like I'm going to be a little busy the next couple weeks. But still looking forward to it nonetheless. So appreciate everyone for watching until the end. We're going to put out another video tomorrow. Every day we're going to put out something else until we get this update to come through. So let's look forward to that. If you haven't subbed to the channel yet, sub to the channel. If you want more update information, we got it coming out. A ton of people do, but we do too. So I uh, appreciate everyone. Until next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.